components and the from the uh, instance architecture component these are the major components which is mostly asked by uh, you know seniors or in any interviews so what are the clicksense major components clicksense proxy clicksense engine and uh, clicksense schedule clicksense repository and clicksense application okay so proxy may nomenclature is self explanatory something which delegates between two different environments that is what called, uh, is called as a proxy Clicksense cloud and development environment is one and Clicksense output which is in turn you can see this is HTML5 based web client and Clicksense engine which is here we are majorly working on this right the Clicksense cloud or Clicksense development whatever the practices we are following up here is this layer now proxy is something which delegates between two different architecture so this is this is the web client which is the output and this is the qva file now how qva file will be converted to clicksense client which is a html based interface so that's the responsibility of proxy so let us understand clicksense proxy handles tasks like clicksense authentication load balancing and session handling so in, in the cloud platform, you know, Clicksense um, access point, your dashboard will be viewed just like simple HTML page. But at the time of development, it is a QVA file. So it is the entry point for administrator as well as the user. After going through that, user can be able to see the dashboard in a form of HTML. So all those you know information exchange between QVA to this HTML5 based public or open inter interface or the output is done by the proxy so however these are all intangible things these are all logical things okay. we cannot see something which is called as proxy but yes theoretically this concept is being taken care of by clicksense proxy so it mostly handles the clicksense uh, license uh, provisioning, session management, load balancing, and running with user identity provider. So user identity provider means the portal where after de you know, development clicksense dashboard will be accessed. That portal is called as access point. So Clicksense proxy is logically working behind the access point. Access point just authenticate user to let them enter to the Clicksense dashboard. Without authentication, they cannot open the dashboard. And load balancing when Clicksense will be deployed in uh, Clicksense uh, cloud in the uh, uh, server. So it actually deployed in multiple instances that is not our cup of tea but Clicksense Cloud takes care of all these things. So how the request will come from the city uh, user and which server it will be navigated and which server is having the least load right now that is what it has been taken care of by the load balancer. So these are the components which uh, proxy takes care of. Clicksense engine, basically whatever we are working right now, Clicksense uh, analytics platform, logically one engine is running behind the scenes, that is handling the in-memory analysis, in-memory and calculations, whenever we are executing, we are loading the dashboard, so it's a work of Clicksense engine who does all these activities. Then whenever you are searching a dashboard, uh, that's what we call as a smart searching. And uh, any uh, code we are uh, you know doing it, you know that calculation is getting operated. So that all takes care of by the Clicksense engine. So that 
engine is interacts with the various other components like Clickson's repository, Clickson's scheduler, and Clickson's application. So Clickson's application is a QBA file. Clickson's scheduler is a task scheduler. At a particular time, if you are scheduling a dashboard to reload, okay. so that scheduling is another engine. And repository is a data catalog, okay, where the data are stored. That's where the Clickson's repository. So this engine acts as an interactor between all those different engines. So this is what the Clickson schedule is. Clickson schedule uh, here we have the, the Clickson cloud also. We have an option to call as a reload. Reload dashboard. When you want to automatically reload the dashboard, you have to create a task. You have to define the time, what all operations to be performed by that task. You have to configure that. And once you say it, on the next day, your dashboard will be refreshed at the same time. For example, we have two layers right now. One is a DXC QVD maker, another is DXC cash flow dashboard, which is the application. DXC QVD maker fetches the data from our data source and creates the QVD. If you want to automate them, if you want to automate that, that in the every morning, that DXC data uh, extract layer or QVD maker will be executed and it will fetch the latest data and bind into the QVD. How it will be possible? That's what the role of Clickson's schedule. And Clickson's repository is the storage of the data, whatever the data folder we have, and other uh, QVA files, QVD files, all the data, whatever it is uh, necessary for the dashboard, it is stored and managed and indexed by an engine called as Clickson's repository. And Clickson's application is the uh, one which is we uh, which we are dealing with. That file format is come with QVA. The uh, Clickson's application the file is QVA, and this is mostly used for handling the calculations, in-memory analysis, and the final presentation layer, which we are right now dealing with. That's what the QVA file is, or we also call as Clickson's application. So this is, this is all about uh, the major component of Clickson's architecture. This one is a schedule. This is the repository for the data. Like you see, these are all the live databases. We fetch the data with the schedule, we store that into the QVD, right? First, it is stored in the QVD. So that's part of this repository layer. And when we are dealing with it in the Clickson's engine, we have to work with it, execute the dashboard, write the code, and do everything. And your uh, QVF file is also confined into this. And whenever you deploy it to be previewed by the end user, input in that the proxy is coming into picture, which does all those kind of session management, license management, you know, load balancing, and converting this QVF file to HTML file. So this is quite uh, theoretical, just for your knowledge. It was planned for this session, so giving an idea.